Hello everyone and welcome back to the Antorus Raid Boss Guides. Now this boss is the Antoran High Command, which is really a bit of a council fight with three different bosses but they all share an HP pool and only one is active at a given time. Now just right off the bat, the tanks do have to swap off of each other every two stacks. And the ability that applies the debuff is a frontal cleave so the tanks can't be standing in front of each other. Now for phase 1 you are going to be getting the Admiral. And there are basically two abilities per boss and one special ability in each pod. So when the Admiral is up, one of the special abilities is going to be adds. Now these adds come in two types, one of them is a Pyromancer, which you need to interrupt 100% of the time or the Pyroblast will kill people. And the other one is the Shock Trooper, which will leap to someone, start a blade storm, and then start working their way back to the boss. Do not stand in this blade storm, it will do a lot of damage. The other mechanic that you have to watch out for are mines. These are going to be thrown all around the platform, and if you ever blow one of the mines up, everybody's going to find out because it puts a stacking debuff on the whole raid. So if you pop two or three mines, Mines, everybody will get two or three stacks of this debuff so be very careful walking around the mines getting one to three stacks is nothing deadly but it just adds extra stress to the healers now for the pod group in normal mode you can get away with using one person in the pod like you're gonna be seeing here with my boomkin and basically every pod has the same first ability it does damage and it increases the damage taken of that mob ideally you want to be using this ability on the main boss for that phase now the second ability always rotates and for this first pod with the admiral up the second ability is just a ton of damage on the adds so first you want to use this ability on the pyromancer and take care of that ad and then take care of the shock troopers something else to note is that the longer you're in the pod the more damage you take so ideally what you should be doing is using the second ability on cooldown and jumping out after you use two of them and then jumping back in if you are doing heroic mode you are going to be getting a three minute debuff that does not allow you to jump back into a pod so for for heroic you are going to need about two or three people to rotate in and out of the pods to handle the mechanics correctly so assign a pod group and in normal mode just jump out after two uses of the second ability and jump back in now for phase two we are going to have the engineer and for this phase the two mechanics we have are again the adds but the second one is something called the Fusillade. Now what this does is it drops giant bombs all around the platform and does massive amounts of damage. Now what needs to happen is the person in the pod has a special second ability that throws down a little pylon on the ground. Right when Fusillade goes out, somebody should click on this pylon. It has about a one second cast time. Activate it, it'll pop a bubble and everyone needs to hide underneath that bubble. Now for the pod group, what needs to happen is you need to drop three pylons near the pod that you're in right now and then three pylons near the next pod because the current phase and the next phase are each going to have three fusillades before transitioning. So remember, in the pods, spam the first ability on the boss and then use the second ability on command. If you're in normal, jump out after two uses and jump back in and if you're in heroic, jump out after two uses and rotate your group. Now for phase 3, we do have the general here. Also, phase 3 is your lust phase, so as soon as you transition to phase 3, use lust. Now for phase 3, the two mechanics we have are more mines being added to the floor and the fusillade AoE bomb that drops again. So what you need to do is look out for that AoE fusillade bomb. DBM will tell you exactly when it goes out. So as soon as you see it go out, use one of your pylons and everyone has to hide underneath the bubble. Remember, you're going to have three of these casts and avoid the mines now the special ability in the pod for this phase is another pylon that destroys all mines within a 12 yard aoe of it so if you do go into this pod for this phase just start clearing the room of mines especially the area that you're trying to hide under with the pylons just to make sure that nobody runs into the bubble and hits a bunch of mines so clear the area you're in now and the future area that you're going to which always goes clockwise also for the pod group remember in normal mode use the second ability twice just jump out and jump back in, and in heroic mode, use the second ability twice and start rotating your pod group. That does it for this fight, thank you all for watching, and as always, good luck out there.